You were born three days after Columbine. CNN was blaring in the background as you slipped into the hands of the midwife and did not make a sound for the first 10 seconds of your life. In that time, you realized there is so much more color on earth than there was in your mother's womb, and only then did you cry. When New York City turned to ash on America's lips on September 11th, 2001, you were just learning how to ball your hands into fists. Crushing berries in, your, in between your palms became one of your favorite pastimes. And when George Bush declared the war on terror, you were just learning how to rip apart a strawberry. You had the seeds stuck under your nails for days. Your neighbor caught the swine flu right after you turned 10. Your father asked you to pray for her, and you asked why. You were sent to bed early that night, and after that you stopped praying altogether. You flinched at the sound of the amen at grace at dinner. You faked sick every Sunday. Your neighbor recovered, and you decided not to believe in God anymore. It was in between Osama bin Laden's death and the shooting in Aurora, Colorado, where you were stuck in a dark, confusing void. You weren't sure if you were a lesbian atheist or someone who was just much too lonely. You, the idea of a higher power was comforting while at the same time angering. You had tried praying a few times, but it had never worked. All you wanted was for the scars and the deliberately hidden parts of your body to fade because you regretted putting them there. Newtown, Connecticut, was flogged by the butt of Adam Lanza's rifle the day your eighth grade Christmas break started. You cried on the school bus as the radio recited the names of the 21st graders who were gunned down. And after watching Bowling for Columbine twice that night, you emailed all your friends and asked them to braid funeral pyres into their hair. It was the summer before you started high school that you realized you had grown to care more about the American tragedies than you did your own personal ones. Maybe it was selfless, but it sure wasn't healthy. You looked under your clothes and noted the scars had not faded. You looked to your ceiling and remembered your unanswered prayers. Am I just dirt under a God's fingernails, you asked but you knew no one would know the answer. <laughs>